from Charlottesville, let's turn to another area where there's been fierce disagreement. That would be health care. Senator Sanders and Secretary Clinton, you both mentioned it in your 100-day priorities. Let's turn to my colleague Andrea Mitchell now to lead that questioning. Thank you, Lester. Secretary Clinton, Senator Sanders favors what he calls Medicare for all. Now, you said that what he is proposing would tear up Obamacare and replace it. Sec yes, it would replace it with something good. Senator Clinton, is it really fair to say that Bernie Sanders wants to kill Obamacare? Yes. Well, Andrea, I am absolutely committed to universal health care. I've worked on this for a long time. People may remember that... Uh, she says she wants universal health care. Took on the health insurance industry back in the 90s, and I didn't quit until we got the children's health insurance program that, that insures 8 million kids. Okay, well, children's health insurance program. So this is the CHIP program, and the way that works is if you're an adult, like for instance in Texas, if you're an adult and you don't have kids, um, you don't get any assistance, in other words. If you're making under sixteen thousand a year, what it's talking about is if you're an adult and you have a kid and you make less than thirty-two thousand a year, you can get Medicaid. In other words, for the kids, whereas in the past before CHIP, this parent would have to um, buy insurance for their kids or pay for it themselves. And then if they have like two kids, um, if the parents have two kids, in other words. This is bizarre how it exactly works. I don't know. It should be because what if it's just one parent and they're single? They don't have a, they're not married or something. They have one kid. That'd be okay. It would just be by the yearly income. But anyways, the the principle is that, and so what it's saying here is that if a person has like six kids, the more kids they have, the more they're eligible to receive um, their free health care, in other words, depending on their income. So if someone has, you know, making about $48,000 a year and they have two kids or something, if they have another kid, they're, you see, this, these Democrat pro programs are all messed up, but then it provides no provisions for adults without kids. So it's like discrim discrimination against, uh, you know, they want to encourage, like, people to have fat families and you know and then irresponsibly in other words and then it's saying here any adult who lives more than half the time with an uninsured child may apply this includes parents step parents grandparents other relatives legal guardians or adult brothers or sisters so if there's this family of people and usually you know these are they like the, the Democrats like to encourage like these mixed families of like a, a bunch of people living in one household like a a cousin you know a, <laughs> uncles and step you know all this stuff and one's illegal one's illegal things like that and and it's saying that if the the grandparent lives at the house they can be included in this and they can get. Medicaid too. It's bizarre. The way Clinton phrased it was as if before the children couldn't get any health care. In, in other words, but what she, what all she really did was shifted the burden from the parents to pay for their their children's uh, insurance and so forth to the government. And then they can politically they can say. Look, I got insurance, helped the, ch the children get insurance, and I fought those uh, insurance companies. Why would the insurance companies, anyways? Well, I guess they want people to buy real insurance plans. And I certainly respect Senator Sanders' intentions. But when you're talking about health care, the details really matter, matter. And therefore, we have been raising questions about the nine bills that he introduced over 20 years uh, as to how they would work and what would be the impact on people's health care. She's saying, oh, I'm incredulous about the, if they would actually work or, uh, you know, if they would actually help people. He didn't 
like that, his campaign. Uh, well, of course he didn't like that because he introduced the bill. They didn't get, get didn't get accepted. Didn't like it either. And tonight he's come out with a new health care plan. What was wrong with that? And again, we need to get into the details. But here's what I believe. The Democratic Party in the United States worked since Harry Truman to get the Affordable Care Act passed. We finally have a path to universal health care. We've. Well, wouldn't why? Why not just skip that stupid law and just go right to universal health care? That's what I, makes no sense. She's saying we need to have the Affordable Care Act so one day in the future we can have what Bernie Sanders is proposing. Accomplished so much already. And these people that oppose this idea of, of universal health care, or number one, they might be people that have these some great health plan or something or work for the government or, you know, uh, but... If, you, if, if that per, if you get fired from your job, then you don't have anything anymore. And also, when people are uh, growing up, like and they turn twenty and they're all on their own, are they supposed to just go out and pay three hundred a month for insurance? This is just common sense, and, and that way people are they they all share the 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 equal burden in other words and all share the equal benefits and you cut out the the profiteers in the middle i do not want to see the republicans repeal it and i don't want to see us start over again with a content and uh, the affordable care act plan even if they they also they they try to get you to, to buy it through a government website and they so they don't want the agents to be involved they don't want you to actually talk to an agent they just want you to The way the affordable, uh, so, and also you can only buy the Affordable Care Act plan like one month. So you can't look, you can't, if you want to buy an insurance plan in June, you can't, you, you can only buy plans one month out of the year. So the laws are, are done. For instance, you would go to uh, the website and you're like, are you or any of your household members currently receiving Oregon health plan benefits. Are you currently on a government plan? Um, no. Did you, or what, why does this matter? See, this is what they do. They take you to this dumb website. It doesn't matter if you bought health insurance in So if you answer one of these questions, then you're you're going to have some other. If you're age 65 or older, you're on Medicare, and then you're not really this this wouldn't apply for you. In other words, I guess if they're pregnant, they can apply for Medicaid or something. So what it's saying here is, if you're in Oregon and you make less than this, then you get Medicaid. So the way it's supposed to work is people making less than this everywhere would get Medicaid, and then people making between 16000 and 44000 would get some sort of subsidy from the government. For instance, um, $100. Say you're making 30000 a month, you might get $100 to pay for a plan. If you're making 20000 a year, you would uh, be, get more like maybe 200 and also what they don't tell you these politicians is depending on the state you live in you're going to get different subsidy amounts because the plans themselves cost different things depending on the state for instance uh, a 35 year old female in Oregon a plan for her might be in reality mm, 350 a month but the same plan for the same female in Texas reality would be 425 a month so you might get more subsidy dependent upon the state so if the state has higher insurance costs like Florida then the subsidies will go up to match the cost in other words 
and also I'm not 100 quite, quite percent sure but some states are more likely to give people more subsidies just because they're more generous like they <laughs> more liberal in other words like uh, Oregon may be more likely to give people than Texas and in Oregon so they're just uh, they're, they're they um, mostly like a liberal state so they're kind of being cooperative and so they're saying okay yeah you you can get Medicaid so an adult say an adult female 35 years old no children in Oregon say she didn't have a job all, all the uh, in 2000 there's no way of knowing but whatever determination 2016 or 2015 if she was making, she didn't make any money at all. In this state, Oregon, she would have Medicaid. If she got sick, she would be paid for. But in, if she lived in Texas, she would get nothing. But in Texas, if you're making twenty over sixteen thousand, you get a subsidy, and and so forth. But if you're if you're making forty four thousand in, in either state, you get nothing from the government. In addition, you could have also if you could if. If you have insurance from your job and it's just as good as the, the the plans on the Affordable Care Act, you can stick with your plan at your employer.